Hey guys, it's Skye. I know I haven't made a video in forever and I know I start every video out by saying that, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> so I just wanted, I figured that since I, like I have no idea what kind of video I should make, that I would just make a skincare video because it's been requested to me quite a few times and I couldn't think of anything else to make. So, and I apologize in, in advance if this video is lengthy because knowing me, Miss Chatterbox over here, probably will be. And I kind of have a lot to cover, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that I would say is really helpful and important to having clear skin is staying hydrated. I drink like a bajillion of these a day. I'm always peeing. Okay, that was probably too much information, but you get the drift. I drink a lot of green tea, and a lot of different teas for that matter. Um, I'm a huge Teavana fan. Like I have a whole shelf in my pantry for just Teavana tea. <laughs> Staying hydrated is really important because it allows your body to flush itself out and get rid of all the impurities. And instead of pimples coming up, because that's one way of your body trying to get rid of impurities, it gets flushed out other ways that don't show up on your face, so that's a good thing. Something else that's really important to having clear skin is making sure you eat a well-balanced diet. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you know, a lot of, just have a, have a variety in your diet so you can get a whole bunch of different nutrients to nourish your body and give things to your body that it needs. I personally eat a plant-based diet like 80 to 90% of the time. I'm not a vegan, but I eat like one most of the time. But when I'm out, I don't like ask if this is made with eggs or blah, blah, blah. I don't eat meat though, because I don't know, I just feel bad for the animals and I've never really been a meat person. Actually, no, that's not true. I like hamburgers, but I don't eat them anymore. But I can live with veggie burgers. Veggie burgers are cool too. Something else that's really important is exercising. Because when you exercise, you know, your heart, your heart rate gets up and everything and that improves your circulation. So when you improve your circulation, then your skin gets oxygen and so it's just, it's good. Like if I ever, I usually run, I try, I try to get some physical exercise every day. I mean, I go to the gym, like I do yoga and Pilates like a few times a week and I do horseback riding and I go running at night sometimes too. So like if I ever come home and I'm like sweating and then I take a shower, my skin looks like, it just looks radiant. It looks like it's glowing. You can definitely see the difference in your skin if you exercise. Also something else that's really important is making sure that you get enough sleep. Like try to at least get eight hours. I know for most people that's like pretty much impossible because you go to normal school. So yeah, like a lot of my friends are like, oh my God, I'm running on four hours of sleep, shoot me. And I'm just sitting over here like, oh my gosh, I got seven hours of sleep last night, I'm so tired. So I guess I'm lucky because I take my classes online, so. Sleep has never really been an issue for me. But I can always tell in the morning if I wake up from not having a lot of sleep, my skin just looks dull and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I look like crap today. But then if I get a lot of sleep, I wake up and I'm like, wow, I look like I am a human, not a zombie. That's cool. So sleep is definitely important. Also, something that you might want to pay attention to is what you put on your face, not just what you put in your body like makeup. Personally, I don't wear liquid makeup because I don't like how it feels on my skin. I used to kind of, I used to wear it sometimes, but now I just, unless I'm going out, like out, out with my friends and I need to be like super dressed up, that's the only time that I wear liquid. But other than that, I would say like 80% of the time, I don't even wear makeup right now. I have makeup on because I just came from an audition, but normally I don't wear makeup because I just feels so much better when I don't have any on. I only wear powder. I wear Bare Minerals, which is nice. I like it. Something that's really, really, really important, probably one of the most important things, is establishing a skincare routine. Meaning, you know, cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and then, you know, face masks a couple times a week. Like exfoliating or hydrating, depending on your skin type. People have this, like, concept in, in their mind that like you have to buy all these expensive products in order to have like perfect skin or clear skin well not perfect there's no such thing as perfect but in order to have clear skin you have to like buy all these 10 trillion dollar products and -na 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 -na. okay well that's not true 
because some of the best face masks and face whatever things I've ever used have been things that I find in my kitchen, like oatmeal, honey, yogurt. But yeah, every morning I wash my face with oatmeal and then I usually use a honey face mask, which is, I literally just put honey on my face for, I try to leave it on for about 20 minutes. And then when I wash it off, my skin feels so soft. It, it's just, it's glowing. And I love the honey. I cannot stress that enough. It just makes your skin look amazing because it exfoliates and it hydrates. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. Something that's really good for spot treatments for like acne or zits or whatever is tea tree oil. I swear tea tree oil is like the cure for everything. You can put it on cuts. You can put it on cold sores. You can put it on pimples. You can put it on your tongue if you bite it. You can use it for anything. So basically, your skin on your face is a reflection of your health. So if you put good things into your body and on your body, then it will show in your skin. But also remember that if you have acne and you've tried everything and nothing works and you're just like, oh my gosh, I feel so ugly. I have the worst skin. Nobody will ever like me. That's not true like at all. I actually, about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, I had acne. It wasn't, it wasn't severe, but I had it. It was there and I was so insecure about my skin all the time. I always felt like people were looking at my zits, but you know, eventually it cleared up and now like I still, I still get pimples. Like I have, I have one right there right now and oh, well, you can't really see it, but I had one there, but now it's gone. But just take care of yourself and remember that as long as you're healthy, that's what's important. Not how you look or how many zits you have on your face. Like people who judge you for that, aren't you, those people aren't even worth talking to. So just remember that beauty comes from within and how you look on the outside doesn't define you as a person. It's who you are as a person, your integrity, your character, that's what's important. So just don't forget that. So stay beautiful everyone and until next time, which will hopefully not be like 20 million months like all my other videos have been. <laughs> Bye, guys.